Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Weekend League sell-off is happening today. It's Sunday. It always does every weekend. I could even call it like a market crash because these team of the season cards take such a hit in price every weekend. We saw it last weekend with La Liga. We saw it with Premier League the first weekend. And it's probably going to happen again. And it's starting to happen already with the Bundesliga cards. We're going to take a look at the squad right here and talk about that. We're also going to talk about the rare gold situation with the Bundesliga rare golds today and the Alfonso Davies extinct price range update situation. And also I want to talk about like the hype around these icon SBCs that are supposedly leaked and coming out um, at some point during team of the season. So I want to talk about that a little bit as well. And my thoughts on like the whole inform like a foot footwatch added a um a player group that was added to the code i want to talk about that a little bit as well so a lot of information coming today but a lot of these cards are dropping down low saturday night early sunday morning are they going to rise again into sunday a little bit there's there's a possibility for some of that i mean my guy timo Werner, last night my man was 1.4k 1.4 mil i bought a timo Werner last night on a snipe for 133 sold it for 155 but what I could have done is actually sold them in the one sixes, bro. This card bounces around so much. What I'm realizing is this guy is really, really rare. I bought one today right before lightning rounds with a panic sell at 1.4 mil and sold it at 1.5 an hour later, only for him to go up two or three hours later, another 100K. So this guy is really rare and he fluctuates a lot, which is interesting to me. This guy is actually fluctuating a ton as well. He's got a lot of hype. A lot of people want to try this guy with the four star weak foot. Uh, and, but the only reason why I don't like this guy is because I've already lost a couple hundred thousand coins on him. Uh, because on Friday I tried buying him, I tried buying him right here, uh, basically right here. And then I thought he was going to go back up to like one five where he was here. Cause he was getting bought up really, really consistently at one five. I thought he was going to have like a dip and then come back up after that last sliding round. And he really didn't go back up. He just kept falling. And then obviously last night you see, he just got way too cheap and then exploded into the daytime especially with Dortmund playing on Saturday a lot of hype around him scoring the first goal uh and his price rising so that was interesting to see uh some of the uh informs and uh, now wants to watches actually rose as well this is something I pointed out at the beginning of yesterday's video I said hey take a watch with these cards uh like this Brandt right look what happened today with this card man he was 12k Brandt uh scored and assisted I think and he went up to 15,000 coins, man. This guy's not getting an upgrade. There's no team of the weeks that are coming out. So that was funny to see. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm glad that I shouted that out because maybe you guys made a couple K. Uh, if you did this today, maybe you bought one of these at 12K and, and sold at 15. I don't know. But uh, that was just ridiculous to me that a live item uh, that is not live actually went up in price today. But again, a lot of these team of the season prices going to drop down are they going to rebound a little bit into, into sunday maybe a little bit so there could be an opportunity for a flip there all i would say is if you're looking for a card to flip uh muller looks good to me Werner looks good to me um holland looks okay to me and then i would just look through some of the graphs like i don't know if nabry did well nabry need, needed a bigger stat boost for team this season for bundesliga i think the nabry rebound he went from 523 up to 560 so there's a little there was some profit there but not a ton it went to 580 after lightning rounds today that was interesting but uh yeah so i would say like muller went from 370 to 460 or something like that uh from friday night into saturday so if, if muller gets down to like 350 i could very easily see him hitting 400k sunday morning so that's something that i could be interested in make a quick flip there that's a possibility just watch these cards tonight um, and into the early hours of Sunday and see if they kind of get rare on the market, then they might just start to kind of rise back up into the daytime on Sunday uh, in the UK. I'm talking UK hours. So like early morning, like 2, 3 a.m. UK time. And then they'll kind of hit their peak probably around noon to 3 p.m. UK time before they kind of go back down. More lighting grounds today. Again, these guys are going to be getting sold off a lot and you're going to see a lot of lower prices. Hakimi is about to go under 200,000 coins um as the weekend league sell-off is here man a lot of these cards are gonna drop in price because people are done using them in the weekend league this is where we saw massive massive price declines last week with la liga tots and i think it continues to happen with the bundesliga as we head into the midweek where nobody's worrying about buying these cards all they're worried about again is upgrade packs and the guaranteed 
Tots SBC. And I want to talk about the uh, first mentioned thing there, upgrade packs. And what we turn in for those upgrade packs, rare golds from the Bundesliga. The SBCs that they've been releasing on Mondays require um, rare golds from the league that is out in packs right now. And a lot of these rare golds from the Bundesliga are nearing closer to 2,000 coins apiece, which I think is just ridiculous. And I think people are way overpaying for a lot of these cards. 1.8K for this Rashika. The other guy I like to look at is Luke, Luca Bacchio. Partially, I like to look at this guy because of just the size of the meme that this dude's footmiss SBC was. Hey, let me know in the chat if you remember this uh, or in the comments. Who remembers Footmiss Luca Bacchio? One of the biggest SBC scams of Footmiss. That was wild uh, for the card and, and how much they required. That was crazy. But anyway, all of these Bundesliga rares are like 1.7, 1.8K. If you see them get to 2,000 coins before the SBC actually comes out on Monday, that's ridiculous. You should sell because a lot of you guys, I know, started buying these cards when they were 1.2, 1.3K. You've already seen them go up you know, 500, 600 coins per card. And if you've bought thousands of them in that, you know, low to low 1K range, you're looking at good profit right there. I would not chance it. If you bought cards at 1.3K or below, maybe even like 1.5 or below, I would start selling them and try to get them to sell at 2K if they reach that price. Because once the SBCs come out, there are so many people that have been investing in these cards. I don't think they're going to rise when the SBCs come. I think they're going to hold their price and stay the same, if not drop. Yes, you heard me. They might even drop. I'm getting the same vibes with the amount of investing that's going on with these cards that I get when people know a Team of the Week SBC is coming and they go out and they spam by 83s uh, until their fingers are bleeding. And then everybody goes invest in those. And when the SBC drops, everybody starts listing their cards, their 83s, and the prices actually go down. I feel like that could happen with these cards because of the lack of utmost hype. I feel like this team this season Bundesliga is like hype, but it's not like freaking hype, you know? I feel like Prem was here, La Liga was here, Bundesliga is just below La Liga. Uh, yeah, Bundesliga is just a little bit more below La Liga with the, the upgrades and just the players they chose and the stat boost and stuff, the guys that could have gotten in. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still some cool cards, but... I feel like, you know, third week now, it's just kind of, you know, it's just kind of, it's, it's okay, right? It's just all right. Unless you're a big time Bundesliga guy and you want to get a lot of these in your team, then it's awesome for you, which is, which is dope. But if these guys do reach 2000 coins, I think you take the coins beforehand before everybody else starts selling. That's what we call uh, selling in the hype because these cards are definitely hyped up. And I think there's a possibility that they do drop down in value. So be very, very wa closely watching that as we head into Monday and think about considering taking the coins on your cards. If you're buying the rare golds because you want to do the upgrade packs, then that's fine. Uh, and you're going on a sign because you just want to craft as many upgrade packs as you can. And you want to start off with those packs early in the week. That's great. But I know so many people are investing in those because they think they can make profit. Last week, the rares went to like 2.5, 2.6 K. Um, but they were 2.2, 2.3 K. They only rose a couple hundred uh, coins because everybody was investing in them before that. So I would not be surprised if the Bundesliga rares um, barely rise or don't rise at all or even maybe drop a little bit because so many more people are buying the rares this week from the Bundesliga. You've got guys like Nepenthes uh, and I think even Castro said to go out and buy some of these cards, which is crazy that you have um, some of the biggest. And when you have some of those massive content creators with the massive pull that they have and just the amount of viewership that they get, you see a lot of people doing that and that causes just over investing on the market. So that is something I want you guys to be very, very careful about this week when you are getting ready for upgrades. I'm going to wait to buy the golds for the upgrades because um, if they're not going to go up much, why do I want to stay unassigned and just and do that to myself? I don't want to. So I'm just going to wait. I'll spend a couple extra 100K, uh, you know, extra 100 coins per card if I need to. If they go up 200, 300 coins, that's fine. I'll pay that instead of having to go on a sign. So that's how I feel about a lot of those cards. Um, I wanna talk about Davies really quick, right? As of right now, when I'm recording this, which is uh, late Saturday night, and I guess kind of early Sunday morning, depending on where your time frame is and where you are from, this Davies card is still basically extinct and getting insta-bought for 550,000 coins per card. There's a decent amount of them popping up. I think this guy is still overpriced. Think about Andy Robertson, left back, 
from the Prem. That guy is 230K. 230K. I feel like Alfonso Davies is going to be more expensive than him this week. I feel like this is a 350 to 400,000 coin card, um, but it could drop lower than that with the amount of people that are investing in this. I don't understand why people think this card is actually worth more than 550K. This feels like the Adama situation when he was extinct during Premier League tots all over again. And the fact that EA is waiting to update this price range uh, is very, you know, it's kind of scummy to me, man. It's kind of scummy to me because I feel like uh, EA is waiting for there to be less demand from the weekend league, right? Because if this price range doesn't get updated until Sunday night, a lot of times they update price ranges nighttime UK. So they could update it tonight. And before this video goes, goes out, it might be updated by the time you're seeing this. But, um, a lot of times EA does the price update ranges at night. Um, so then like their main player base is not online. And by the time they get online, the price is dropped so they lose coins. And that's why I think it's kind of scummy that EA is not updating this price range right away because they should have updated this on Friday, uh, like after an hour of him being extinct, which is what they usually do for new promo cards. But this guy did not get a price range update. He's still chilling 550K. I think this guy is going to have less demand coming out of the weekend league because, you know, people want to play with this card in the weekend league, right? Uh, no more weekend league games to be played depending on when this gets updated. And I think this is going to end up being a 350 to 400,000 coin card midweek, maybe even lower. So if you've got a Davies and you sniped one and you're trying to make profit on it, um, as, unless you're one of the first people to list the card right when that price range update goes live, you're probably not going to make profit and you're going to see that card just continue to snowball downwards as people exit the weekend league and don't really need to have that card except to just try it out. So that's my thoughts on the Alfonso Davies. And then again, I want to close this out by talking about the Icon SBC situation. Are we getting Icon SBCs? What is there to talk about this? And what is it going to do to the market? All right. This is the stuff that I want to reference back to. I'm not going to pull up any of the stuff on Twitter about the leaks, about any of that stuff, because I don't really, uh, I don't really show that stuff because leaks are leaks, right? And it's not, it's, it's not, it's, if it's a leak, then it's not in the game yet. And I'm only showing stuff that is in the game and what is true and what is factual and what we know. And we, we can plan for stuff. We can see stuff that is a leak or in the code and talk about it. Um, but you know, I'm not a huge fan of leaks. So right now, this is again, just all hearsay and it's all just floating in the air. It's nothing concrete. But EA added a player group, which is POTS, Team of the Week, or Team of the Week Moments. And this is what they said. It's behind my camera, so you can't see it. They worded this tweet, and they said, it looks like some SBCs are going to require Team of the Week, Team of the Week Moments, or Team of the Season. This happened in previous FIFAs before, where they would have a requirement in an SBC. Instead of it just being a, a Team of the Week card, in previous years, they would say, okay, you can return in a Team of the Week, a Team of the Week Moments, or a, a team of the season. Well, in years past, team of the week. But basically why they do it is they do that to decrease the amount of rise on informs in the game. Because if you remember earlier this week, I told you guys to go out and pick up uh, informs, high rated informs, 84, 85, 86, 87 rated informs, because a lot of these have risen uh, after they got the supply from the tradable team of the week upgrade. This play a card was the one that I tweeted out. And I said, hey, Go pick up this guy at 22, 23,000 coins as an 86 rated inform because he is going to go up. And my man, Playa, is up 10,000 coins just solely due to the fact that the supply stopped, but people are still doing SBC. So there's continual demand for this card. And I think EA putting that pack code or player group in the game is going to allow people to, uh, there's going to be less demand for the, the team of the week cards if they put out an SBC that requires uh, team of the week or tots there's going to be less demand for team of the week cards because more people have team of the seasons in their clubs and that's going to mean maybe somebody is more likely to do an sbc with a team of the season from their club and maybe go spend more coins to buy cards that they can turn in for that sbc so again that's just an, a way of ea trying to get people to turn in tradable items and their coins into something untradable which is taking coins off of the game. So uh, that is something that could be related to the Icon SBCs. Now, somebody, uh, I saw a picture on Twitter earlier that um, there was a loading screen that had the, um, it had two pictures of the Icon logo. Like if we go in and look at the squad building challenges for the mid Icon, right? 
this this is the tweet that I'm referencing right here. Uh, this picture right here. So on the loading screen, there were two different versions of, it looks to be like an icon, right? Like an icon type SBC. Now, if we go into foot and we'll go back here in just a second, I'll show you what I mean. But this crest basically usually means the types of SBCs that we are getting. Cause I think it, it, this says like squad building challenges. I don't know what language that is, but um, I think that says squad building challenges. And there were two icon looking crests on the loading screen during um, La Liga team of the season. So um, I don't know if that had anything to do with anything, but um, maybe there is an icon SBC coming soon. If there is, we don't know. Some leakers say that it is. Some people say it's coming. This is all I want to say about it, right? If it does come, whether it's a prime icon upgrade or whether it's a player pick for an icon or whether it is individual icon SBCs, EA said they were going to release those. Maybe they're going to go back on the word. Who knows? All right. Right now we have no idea, but if that does come out, if there's some sort of icon SBC that comes out, another one that is game breaking, that is new. There's going to be market panic across the market. I know right now icons are basically dead, right? Uh, somebody was like, yo, look at Rio Ferdinand's price today. Prime Rio Ferdinand, a guy that was 1.3, 1.4 million coins uh, like a month and a half ago on foot. This dude is 600K, 600,000 coins for one of the best icon center backs in the game. Because of team of the season, the juice stats, these icons are basically... Uh, kind of dead in the water right now, but everybody loves icons and foot icon swaps this year. People love talking about icon swaps, doing the icon swaps and getting icons in their team. So if a, if a new way of doing SBCs comes out, or if a prime icon repeatable upgrade SBC would come out, you would see a lot of market panic because people would go and do that SBC. Even they would sell literally every card in this game. We've seen it multiple times this year when they come out with new icon related items and foot. People sell everything to go and do those upgrade SBCs, whether it's a mid, whether it's a baby. Uh, they put out that SBC a couple times this year. So just be careful for that. If you hear wind or if stuff gets into the code about a prime icon SBC, you're going to see all team of the season cards, all sorts of cards. Uh, they're going to crash in price, like even like my team, right? Luckily, my team is entirely untradeable. Uh, you guys know my pack look has been absolutely cracked this year. But if this was a tradable team, I would expect every single card in this team to drop down in price because of the icon, just the hype around icons. People just sell stuff to have the chance because they think, oh, I'm going to pack Hullet or Eusebio or R9, when in reality, they're going to pack Litmanen, Lehman, and Gattuso is who they're going to pack, which, you know, are not the guys you're going for from an icon SBC. So again, if you think that SBC is coming, there are a couple ways you could possibly get ready if you're worried that's going to come. 87s, 88s, 89s, and 90s. The high rated fodder is low right now. It is low, low, low. 84s, 85s, 86s are up a little bit. This is basically due to the fact that every single SBC we have had that has come out, player SBC, James Madison, um, the Kaisen that we got, and the Vitzel have like 83, 84, and 85 rated squads. So the 88s through 90s, 87s through 90s are really not needed right now. That's why these guys are low. If you want to do a club stock, be my guest. A lot of these guys are very cheap. Um, but again, we're, we're going to need like 88 rated squads for any of these cards to go up. A lot of people have tots in their club now, which are high rated. Uh, but you know, if it's an 89 rated squad, you have one 90 rated tots card uh, or 93 rated tots card. You're still going to need some 87s and 88s to complete that 88 or 89 rated SBC. So... Uh, I'm totally fine with the club stock on these. Uh, if we do see some more big time SBCs that come out later this week, like a Militao, Militao rose the 88s a little bit because of his 88 rated squad, um, but not a ton. Honestly, I mean, they rose up a decent amount. I sold a bunch of them last week. I, I, I club stocked fodder on the weekend, sold it when Militao came out on, what was that, Wednesday or Thursday. So th there was a couple dubs you could have had there last week. I don't know if there's going to be as much hype this week for a player SBC. Coutinho could bring some hype. Um, and player SBCs have been have been valued really, really well during during team of the season. I mean, this is great value. This card is not great value, um, but like every other card that we've had this year, like Saul, Ansu Fati, this year's team of the season SBCs have been priced very, very well. So that's a thumbs up to EA, in my opinion, on those. But I'm just kind of worried about the whole icon thing. And I'm just saying, if you want to do a club stock on the 87s and up, go for it. 
Um, but right now with icons, don't get too worried about it. If you start to see panic selling and see more people talking about it this week, we'll cover it if there's factual information and if EA starts to talk about it. But until then, I don't have my hopes set up on anything, right? And I honestly don't even know if I want an Icon SBC. Just let us finish out FIFA 20 the way that it's been. It's freaking May. Focus on FIFA 21, which they probably are anyways, uh, and just make that game somewhat good. If you can, please, EA Sports, change the stuff that we gave you feedback on in FIFA 20, gameplay-wise, menu-wise, market-wise, and you know, work on FIFA 21, right? We are how many months into this game cycle right now? Uh, we have... Four months left, right? Until a new game comes out. Four months until the new FIFA comes out. A little bit less than that, actually. Like, yeah, four months-ish. But work on FIFA 21, right? FIFA 20, it is what it is. Just let it ride. Have footies. End with a bang. And we'll be fine, all right? So that's my thoughts on the whole icon situation. I wouldn't read into it too much yet until we start to see more factual information. Uh, because leaks, you know, they're leaks until it's proven true. So that's how I feel about those. More weekend league sell-off happening today. Watch the Bundesliga rares. Be careful with those. Um, watch the Alfonso Davies situation. Be careful with this card. And then also um, possibly start to, to eye some of the Bundesliga special cards. We'll be talking about that a lot this week. About stuff that we can invest in and buy as links. Because last week the La Liga links went up a lot. I expect the same for Bundesliga this week in some different positions and some different links. We'll be looking at a lot of that this week on the market as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.